We don't need any more anger. We need more self-acceptance and more self-love. When we can accept ourselves right now, as we are right now, without any criticism or judgment, then we are truly loving ourselves, and the negative patterns must dissolve. If we wait until we have the new job before we love ourselves, or if we wait until we lose weight before we love ourselves, or if we wait until someone else loves us before we love ourselves, then we are denying our existence right now. If we wait until we become perfect before we love ourselves, we waste our lives. We are already the perfect outer expressions of our inner understanding, and we will change. But the changes we make when we love and accept ourselves are always positive, always. So let's release the anger and all those negative beliefs about ourselves and about life and begin the process of accepting and approving of who and what we are in the here and now. We are always unfolding in the best way we can. The knowledge and understanding that you are already incorporating from this tape will help you to change your life and dissolve the negative patterns. No negative condition can remain in our lives when we truly love and accept ourselves. Love is the healing power. Love dissolves anger. Love gets rid of guilt. Love fades away fear. Love for ourselves is the power that heals us. On a physical level, I would suggest that in addition to whatever program your doctor may have created for you, you also see the services of a good nutritionist. You could go to the health food store and seek advice, or go to the library and read a book on nutrition, or talk to a friend who understands the importance of good food in your diet and how it can help rebuild your body. There are many things you can do to assist in your own healing. Body, mind, and spirit must be balanced. It sounds more overwhelming than it is. Just begin where you are doing what you can. It's like cleaning a house. It doesn't matter in what room you begin. If you keep going, eventually the whole house becomes clean. Let me repeat. I believe it is our birthright to be totally healthy and totally fulfilled in every area of our lives. Let us claim and accept that birthright right now. On the other side of this tape, we're going to experience a deep relaxation with a guided meditation to help you create new thought patterns that you can use to dissolve disease in your body and to build perfect, vibrant health. It is best not to use side two of this tape in an automobile. I would prefer you to lie down if you can. Please play side two of this tape every night for at least a month. Let yourself go to sleep with it on. Allow these ideas to permeate your consciousness. You can also play it during the day. You don't even have to listen to it. Just let it play over and over. Your subconscious mind hears everything. Practice the suggestions I am giving you. Take time to take care of yourself, mentally and physically. Give yourself a chance. You are worth it. These concepts have worked for many people. They can work for you. Express the growing love you have for yourself by lovingly taking care of the miracle you call your body. And you get to feel good in the process, too. Thank you for listening. I will wait for you on the other side of the tape.
We have talked about many things, and we have brought a lot of feelings to the surface, and this is good. It is all part of the cleansing, the healing, the making whole of our bodies and our minds. Now, in these few moments, let us turn our attention to building positive new thought patterns that enable us to create health in our bodies. Our internal dialogue and our mental pictures have a definite effect on our whole of our bodies and our minds. Now, in these few moments, let us turn our attention to building. Positive new thought patterns that enable us to create health in our bodies. Our internal dialogue and our mental pictures have a definite effect on our bodies. Let us now use that to our best advantage. Lie down if it is convenient, and first. Tense your whole body as much as you possibly can. Make it tighter, and tighter, and tighter, and tighter. Now let go. Then take a deep breath. Fill your body like a big balloon, and exhale. Take another deep breath, and as you exhale, begin to picture yourself in the most beautiful, pleasant, natural surroundings. Whatever is meaningful and safe for you. Take another deep breath. And as you exhale, begin to let go. Just let go. Let go of fear. See fear as a black cloud that hovers over you, and you have a string that is holding it there. Now let the string go. See the dark cloud of fear float away. Watch it until it gets so small you can no longer see it. Feel a sense of release. Take another deep breath and let go of anger. Let go of blame. Let go of guilt. Let go of sorrow. Let go of jealousy. Let go of tension. For these few moments, allow yourself to be at peace. There is no need to struggle. This doesn't have to be hard work. It's only a thought you need to change, and I will help you. I have been through this. I know that dissolving thought patterns helps to dissolve disease. Your breathing is now relaxing your whole body. There is no need for resistance now. You are perfectly safe. You can even go to sleep if you want to. Allow your scalp and your forehead to relax. Let all the muscles around your eyes relax. Let your eyes sink deep into your head, 
and relax. Continue to relax your face, your cheeks, your lips, your tongue, your jaw, your throat. Relax the back of your head, your neck, and shoulders. Let this relaxed feeling spread throughout your body, down the shoulders and upper arms, into the elbows, forearms, wrists, and hands. Feel the tiny pulsations in your fingertips. This is your own energy pulsating. Allow your back to relax. Let those muscles get very heavy. Feel the relaxation in your upper chest, your rib cage your abdomen, your pelvis, and your genitals. These relaxed feelings now move down through your thighs, knees, lower legs, ankles, and feet. Your skin relaxes. Your internal organs relax. Your emotions are relaxed. Feel the music move through you and relax you even more. Remember, the power that created you has provided enough breath to last you for as long as you shall live. Each time you exhale, you don't even think about your next breath. You assume that it will be there for you. You have faith and trust that it will be there. Now extend your faith and trust to the areas of healing. Observe the breath as it goes in and out of your body. Notice that you don't have to do anything. There is an intelligence within you that breathes your body for you. This intelligence within you is part of the one intelligence that created this entire planet. You are not lost or lonely or forgotten or rejected or not good enough or left outside the door. You are one with the very power that created you and this power has given you the power to create your own experiences. The power of your mind. Every thought you think and every word you speak is creating your future. We now choose to use this power to create a wonderful new future for you. 
You are far more than just your body. You are pure consciousness. You are a divine, magnificent expression of life. You are one with all of life. And yet, no person, no place, and no thing has any power over you. For you are the only thinker in your mind. You are the creative power and you are the authority in your life. Now you are choosing to use your own power to help heal yourself. Yes, it is true that when you were a child, there were some difficult times. Times when you felt lonely, unwanted, and unloved. Perhaps you were rejected, or abandoned, or even abused and humiliated. Yes, I know, there were some terrible times. Some of them may have been so awful you don't even remember them. But the past has no power over you if you choose to live in the now. The point of power is in the present moment. Each moment is a new beginning, and this moment is a new beginning for you right here and right now. So let's take the past all of it and wrap it up in the pink of divine love and release it and let it go. We affirm that you are now free. You are not your mother nor her fears. You are not your father nor his beliefs. You are not any of the relatives nor their opinions. You are not the teachers at school, nor their rigidity. And you are certainly not the limitations of your early religious upbringing. You are yourself, a divine, magnificent expression of life. You are unique and special and wonderful, one of a kind. Since time began on this planet, there has never been another person like you, and there never will be. Therefore, there is no competition and no comparison. You have your own unique talents and abilities and your own special way of expressing them. You are worthy of your own love and your own self-acceptance. Not because of what you have done, but just because you exist. We order your subconscious mind to release any and all negative beliefs that are limiting you or harming you in any way. They must leave you now it does not matter if we know exactly what they are or not. It doesn't matter how long these negative beliefs have been there. Now, in this moment, we order them wiped out, erased, eliminated, neutralized, and released. We affirm you are willing to let go and be free. It is safe to do this. We affirm a willingness within you to release the mental causes, the mental patterns in your consciousness that are creating any negative conditions in your life now. We affirm you are willing to release the need for this condition in your body. You now allow it to disappear, 
to fade away, to dissolve back into the nothingness from whence it came. We affirm you are willing to begin to dissolve all resentment and blame. One of the ways to release the walls of resentment that keep you imprisoned is to really understand where the other person is coming from, to go behind their behavior and feel what is going on inside. How much do you really know about your parents' childhood? What was it really like for them to be very little? What were their fears and terrors? When you can truly understand this, then there is not any need for forgiveness. Old instances just dissolve in the light of understanding and compassion. The little child inside you that you have been scolding for so long wants to hear that you love it. It wants to feel safe so that it can get well and stay well. When you were a little child, what you wanted more than anything else was for the people around you to love and accept you exactly as you were. You are still looking for that approval now. Only the only person who can give it to you now is yourself. Other people's approval has no meaning if you don't give it to yourself. I want you to visualize yourself as a little child of five or six. And look deeply into this little child's eyes. See the longing that is there and realize that there is only one thing this little child wants from you and that is love. So reach out your arms and embrace this child. Hold it with love and tenderness. Tell it how much you love it, how much you care. Tell the child how beautiful it is and how bright and clever you think it is. Admire everything about this child and say that it's okay to make mistakes while learning. Say that you will always be there no matter what happens. Now let this little child get very small until it's just the size to fit into your heart and put it there. So whenever you look down, you can see this little face looking up at you, and you can give it lots of love. Now visualize your mother as a little girl of four or five, frightened and looking for love and not knowing where to find it. Reach out your arms and hold this little girl and let her know how much you love her, how much you care. Let her know she can rely on you, that you will always be there no matter what. When she quiets down and begins to feel safe, let her get very small, 
just the size to fit into your heart. Put her there with your own little child. Let them give each other lots of love. Now visualize your father as a little boy of three or four, frightened and crying and looking for love. See the tears rolling down his little face as he doesn't know where to turn. You have become good at comforting frightened little children. So reach out your arms and hold his trembling little body. Comfort him. Croon to him. Let him feel how much you love him. Let him feel that you will always be there for him. When his tears are dry and you feel the love and peace in his little body, let him get very small, just the size to fit into your heart. Put him there, so those three little children can give each other lots of love, and you can love them all. There is so much love in your heart that you could heal the entire planet, but just for now. Let us use this love to heal you. Feel a warmth beginning to glow in your heart center. A softness, a gentleness. Let this feeling begin to change the way you think and talk about yourself. Allow the love from your own heart to flow throughout your body, through all the veins and arteries, down to the tiniest little capillaries, bathing and soaking and soothing and healing every cell in your body. Let this love from your own overflowing heart bring joy to every part of your body, so that all the cells are joyful as they go about their work of keeping you healthy. If there is any pain or discomfort anywhere in your body, let this love surround it and dissolve it, so that your body is is free to heal itself. Let the love wash through your body like cool, clear water, cleansing everything that it touches. Your body knows how to heal itself. Love it and support it in this task. Say to yourself now, I choose to get well. I choose to get well. Let us use the love.
from your own overflowing heart to wipe out any and all old resentment and hurt and bitterness that may be lingering in you. It is impossible to really love until we have forgiven. As the Course in Miracles says, would you rather be happy and well or would you rather be right? In front of you, see a small stage. And on this stage, place the person you resent the most. It could be past or present, living or dead. When you see this person clearly, forgive them. Say to them, I forgive you for not being the way I wanted you to be. I forgive you and I set you free. Then begin to see good things happening to them. Things that would be meaningful to them. See them smiling and happy. They are still smiling as you allow them to fade away. Now notice a prison door opening before you. Feel chains and shackles drop away from you. As you walk out into the sunshine of life, they are free, and now you are free. When you awaken in the morning, I would like you to go to the mirror, look into your eyes and ask, what can I do for you today to make you happy? Do this each morning. Begin to get in touch with what nourishes you. If something happens to disturb you, go to the mirror and say, I love you. What can I do right now to make you feel good? Also, two or three times a day, I want you to look in the mirror and say, I love you. I really really love you. Do these exercises for at least a month until it begins to feel good. Then keep doing them for the joy of it. Begin to repeat to yourself, I love and approve of myself. I love and approve of myself. I love and approve of myself. It may not feel like the truth for you right now, but repeat it over and over and over again, and it will become the truth for you. Another affirmation I like to use is, I'm beautiful and everybody loves me. I'm beautiful, and everybody loves me. The universe will support what you choose to believe about yourself. No matter how foolish you may seem to behave for the moment, you never again have to stop loving and approving of yourself. This is a time for you to become your own best friend, the person you are most joyous to be with. This growing sense of love that you have for yourself begins to radiate out from you in all directions now, touching people, 
and places and things in your past, present, and future, so that wherever you go, whatever you do, whoever you meet, wherever you are, you find your own love waiting for you. And it returns to you multiplied. On a daily basis, take time for yourself. Give yourself periods of relaxation. Begin to visualize your body getting well and you living your life the way you would like to live it. Imagine right now what it would feel like to be really well with lots of energy and a body that did what you wanted it to do. Becoming totally well, accomplishing the goals you desire in life and fulfilling your purpose. Imagine that there is time and energy and money for you to do the things you really like to do. Perhaps you don't usually give yourself time to do these things. But now, in your own mind, you can feel how it would be to take time to enjoy yourself. Hear your family and friends supporting you in this and saying, I'm so glad that you're taking time to enjoy yourself. Imagine your relationships, all of them, becoming more meaningful. Give yourself a strong reason for healing and for living. Focus on your priorities in life. As you work with these images day after day, and you can do them as often as you wish, your body will respond to the healing energy you are giving it. No matter what treatment you may choose to have to help you dissolve this condition, even if it happens to be surgery, let us know and affirm that every hand that comes in contact with your body is a healing hand and your body responds well to the treatment. The cells in your body respond amazingly well to the treatment and strength and wholeness returns to your body. We affirm the people who may be at Administering the treatments are amazed at your rapid rate of healing. There is a part of you deep inside that knows you have the power to heal yourself. It does not matter where the cause of the disease came from. We now release it and let it go. It is now safe for you to get well and to stay well. If there are any benefits from having this illness, we now affirm that you can have these same benefits in a more positive way. Let us concentrate your energies now on claiming your birthright. It is your birthright to express yourself creatively in ways that are fulfilling to you. It is your right to get to do what you want to do, not what others want you to do, and to feel good about it. We claim this birthright for you right here and right now. 
It is your birthright to share in the vast abundance and prosperity of this universe, to live well, and to be comfortable with the substance called money. We claim this birthright for you right here and right now. It is your birthright to have loving relationships that are joyous and harmonious, to be welcomed with love wherever you go. We claim this birthright for you right here and right now. It is your birthright to have total vibrant health with lots of energy, every organ and muscle and joint working perfectly, feeling good about yourself, sleeping well, and awakening each morning bright and refreshed and looking forward to the new day. We claim this birthright for you right here and right now. If there is any pattern in your consciousness that would deny or delay this in any way, we now affirm that you are totally willing to release it and let it go. We release and dissolve all resistance we affirm that you are now totally open and receptive to your highest good and greatest joy. Good now floods into your life from every possible avenue. Love and support surrounds you, and miracle follows miracle in your life. You are now willing to accept and love who and what you are. And the universal intelligence responds to this, and you are surrounded by loving, healing energies. We draw upon that tremendous resource, the healing power of love. Deep at the center of our being, there is an infinite well of love. We now allow this love to flow to the surface. It fills our hearts, our bodies, our mind, our consciousness, our very beings, and radiates out from us in all directions and returns to us, multiply. The more love we use and give, the more we have to give. The supply is endless. The use of love makes us feel good. It is an expression of our inner joy. Because we love ourselves, we take loving care of our bodies. We feed them nourishing foods and beverages. We exercise them in ways that are fun. We groom them and dress them in ways that are pleasing to us. Because we love ourselves, we provide for ourselves comfortable living spaces, filling the rooms with the vibrations of love, so that all who enter, ourselves included, feel and respond to this love. Because we love ourselves, we work at jobs that we truly enjoy doing, using our creative talents and abilities in ways that are fulfilling, working with and for people that we love and who love us, and earning a good income. Because we love ourselves, we behave and think in a loving way to all people, 
For we know that what we give out returns to us multiplied. We only attract loving people in our world now because they are a mirror of what we are. Because we love ourselves, we forgive and totally release the past and all past experiences, and we are free. We choose to live totally in the now, experiencing each moment as good, and knowing that our future is bright and joyous and secure. We are one with the universe now and forevermore. Whatever it is you need to know is now revealed to you. Whatever you need comes to you in divine right order. Your healing is already in process. It is already accepted in consciousness and now the physical healing is beginning to manifest. It does not matter whether your conscious mind has heard one word I've said or not. For we are contacting the subconscious mind we have planted new seeds in the fertile soil of your subconscious mind where they now germinate, take root, and grow and become true for you. When you see the first little shoots of evidence come up, don't say that's not enough. Instead, say with joy, Oh boy, here it comes. Watch your own crop of good experiences come in. Harvest and reap what you are now choosing to sow. Happiness is feeling good about yourself. Health comes from feeling good about yourself. I know you are whole and complete. All is now well in your wonderful, changing, loving, joyful, healthy, safe, peaceful, prosperous, creative world. You are divinely protected and guided. I do care for you. I love you. Be at peace. So be it.